Hey everyone, it's uh, been a really long time since I've been able to post much of anything. I've been stuck away from home for about six months, or since December is the last time I've been home, so basically six months. Uh, but as you can see by the boxes, finally going to be getting out of here for good um, within the next week. So trying to get ahead of the curve here, gets all my stuff together. Um, but super excited to be home for good now. Uh, finally gonna be able to finish all those projects that I've started and never really completed. I've got some clips that I've been taking every time I come home. I figured this will be uh, a little more interesting rather than just me awkwardly staring into the camera, uh, droning on. But um, yeah, like I said, lots of projects. Um, some of the first things I wanna do uh, when I get home is kinda finish up that protein skimmer that was a bit of an epic fail um, so kind of things I want to tweak on that I definitely want to uh, build a proper sump infiltration area on the 3000 um, like I said in previous videos it was kind of rushed uh, towards the end of that build um, so I just kind of slapped it together and it's definitely not how I want it to be it's way too small for that size of tank um, so that's one of the first couple of things to look out for um, and then I just got a few other builds that I kind of started and never finished uh, like a denitrator things like that I also need to uh, build um, some DIY live branching rock uh, just to kind of finish out the aquascape in the tank there's a lot of bare spaces uh, over the years that have kind of fallen and I need to uh, kind of replace and uh, add some new things to it just because some of the PVC is showing. Yeah. Also something that we're finally going to be able to do now that I'm home for good is uh, start doing coral in this main tank. Um, I'm going to do some propagation tanks just to get some uh, big colonies going uh, and then seed the tank. Obviously uh, some of the fish in this tank are not the most appropriate for coral. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to try to find some, some of the hardiest coral. Start with that. See how it goes. It'll be interesting to see how they fare with the natural sunlight. Um, hopefully it'll be uh, beneficial. Although the algae might uh, appreciate the sunlight more than the coral and kind of overtake their growth. So it'll be something to keep an eye on. It'll be a fun little project to see how it goes. And then finally, uh, our biggest upcoming project, and frankly most daunting, is building our new house here on this piece of property. Uh, we actually got this land about three years ago, and it's, it's really something I'm always daydreaming about. I love it out here. I'm constantly, whenever I get the chance, I'm constantly out here just wandering around, taking in all the scenery and daydreaming. But we're finally going to start building the house here. Uh, by the end of summer and we're definitely going to be doing a bigger display tank here at this house um, but that'll be a year or two down the road where we'll finally be able to transfer the 3000 over to there um, but uh, uh, quite a few other exciting things that I want to do is outside wise is building uh, a big pond for uh, um, some of the local wildlife be able to kind of enjoy them as well as uh, doing some big greenhouses for uh, propagating coral and breeding marine fish. That's kind of always been my end goal is to be able to have the facilities to be able to um, ease uh, pressures on wild populations of marine creatures, um, specifically uh, sharks and stingrays. That's kind of what drew me into the hobby. 20 years ago now um, but those are kind of the the big main things that I want to do obviously there's uh, lots of different projects that I'll be kind of tackling but those are the main things and I figured I'd kind of share with you guys what's ahead I know this is kind of a boring video but uh, thanks for watching <laughs>